simple look into this question. How will you manage gastroenterosin type 3B fracture of distal femur? Very, very, very specific question. Okay. What is the end? Ask for three marks. So thing is, open fracture, you can really write pages and pages together. Anyone, I mean, any candidate who is giving a DNB final exam can write a lot of pages on this. But what is asked? How will you manage gastroenterosin type 3B? And that for three marks. Now, three marks, you know, you have to write investigation and you have to write treatment, right? So automatically, you, you in your mind, you're categorizing this. Okay, the basic minimum is for investigation will be one mark. Treatment will be two, two, two marks. For two marks, what are you going to write? That's it. So you're only going to write acute management and what are you going to do? Second step, okay. Compare pros and cons of angular stable device and dynamic compression for distal femur fractures. Now, imagine you don't know anything about, uh, about this. Imagine, okay, this, this is a very straightforward question, but imagine you don't know, but still you are just writing pros and cons in a table format, making little systematic method. You are going to get even one or two marks out of the four marks. Even. The maximum possible is four. Approach to bicondylar opus fracture. This is where a flow chart will help. Bicondylar opus fracture. So clinical diagnosis, what are you going to do? What are you going to look out for? What are the investigations? Next, arrow mark, investigations. Investigations, you are obviously going to get an X-ray. You're going to get a CT scan. Okay, then you are going to see the type of fracture. Now, type of fracture, type one, this is the treatment. Type two, this is the treatment. Type three, this is the treatment. Okay, that's it. That's an approach to bicondylar opus. Now, you may know about complications. You may know about the surgical uh, uh, approaches. You may know about different devices. Nothing is asked. You are only asked about the overall approach. And only for three months. So look into how much marks it is asked for. So the same question is answered differently if it's asked for, say, five, six marks versus if it is asked for three marks. So look into that because time is, again, critical. Uh, for a three-mark question, you can't be writing uh, 10 pages, right? So because even if you have the best, you have written exact ditto of what is required. It's a three-mark question. The maximum mark you're going to get is two, two and a half. You're not going to get three on three. So there's no point in wasting time on that. Okay.